Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you two different ways to make Cuban coffee. Cafe con leche, which is coffee and milk, and a straight espresso shot. Here I have my Cuban coffee maker. Um, here in my the bottom part where you fill up the water, about right where you see in the inside, that's pretty much the marking of where you fill up the water too. And here on this side, that's where you put the actual coffee grinds in. Here in this separate pot, I have my sugar. I put three tablespoons of sugar because I like my coffee a little sweet. You don't have to put that much sugar. You could put a little more if you want. You could put a little less. It's all up to you. Now here in my pot over I have um, a little bit of white milk. Um, I'm going to start heating it up over about medium heat so that this way it doesn't over boil and go all over the place. Now I'm going to start putting my espresso into the little container here. And I like to pack it because I like my coffee a little strong. You don't have to pack it as much as I do. You could just, you know, put the coffee in and towards the top. Then you just pack it in just a tiny bit. But I like to pack it. Like I said, I like my coffee a tiny bit strong. The coffee that I'm using today is Cafe Ustelo. You can buy whichever one you like to drink, whichever flavor. There's a whole bunch of different um, flavors out there. But this is the one that I have now. I like the flavor of the Ustelo. So here it is. You see how it's nicely packed. Now I'm just going to put it on in the coffee pot. And this is the lid. I'm just going to tightly um, put it on so that this way the water doesn't come from the middle parts and spill out. I like to leave the top of the lid open while it's on the stove so that this way when the coffee starts coming up through the middle piece, I take a little bit of that coffee to pour into the sugar to make like this little paste and that will create the foam that we're going to make for our coffee. Now I'm going to turn on my milk to start heating it up and like I said I'm going to put it on medium. I'm not going to put it on high. I don't want my milk to boil, over boil and spill. I have my coffee making and it should take maybe about a couple minutes for it to start coming out. Here I have my sugar, like I said, I have three tablespoons. Here uh, you could choose to put either a little bit less or a little bit more. This is the coffee I was telling you about, it's Cafe Bustelo. This is the one that I'm using. I'm just waiting for that to come to the little bit boil. Now, once it comes, starts coming out just a tiny bit, I pour a very little amount into my sugar to start creating that paste-like. Okay. And I start stirring it really good. Got to have some strength in those muscles. <laughs> you do this for maybe about three, four minutes. It's constantly stirring, stirring to where you're going to see this brown um, paste like it is a little bit of a work but it it's well worth it you get such a nice flavor beautiful foam on top of both your espresso shots and as well with your cafe con leche with your coffee and milk Sorry, that's my son. He's over here with me. <laughs> so yes, I'm just stirring it up. Like I said, it takes a couple minutes for it to come to a complete paste. Like. And see? Just like that. 
it's ready. Now I'm just pouring the coffee in and and once I start stirring it, I'm going to kind of fold it in. I don't want to break like the foam. I'm not going to like stir it like really fast. I'm just going to pretty much break down the sugar and um, mix it well into the coffee. You see how I have that foam that's with the paste created, you know. That's how the true Cuban coffee is supposed to look like. And that's where all the delicious flavor is basically in that foam right there. That's the part that I get most excited for right? is the, is the foam. It took a long time for me to get used to making it like this at the beginning. Once I got the hang of it, I absolutely loved it. So now here is my milk. It already came to boil pretty much and I turned it off. The milk normally creates this film on top that you do not want in your coffee at all. So you take just a little spoon like I'm doing here. You take it out and dis dispose of it. Make sure there's none left in the in the milk. And I'm letting it sit for one second. Now I like to pretty much scrape a little bit of the foam on the top so that this way I could put it into the little cup. And this is the espresso. We're making the espresso first. I'm just taking maybe a couple spoonfuls of the foam, putting it in there first, and then pouring it in. Now I'm doing the same for the cafe con leche, the, the one that's going to go with the milk. I'm taking the, the foam first and putting it in each. And then I will pour the coffee actually into the cup. It's a little bit of a process, but it is well worth it. You have to make sure you follow each of these steps. You can't just go mixing everything together. Every step that you that you take like this, like I said, is well worth it. Now that you're pouring the coffee in, you see how the foam still stays to the top. Not only is it beautiful, it tastes really good. And there it is. It's ready to serve. Ready to drink. And your guests will love it. Even you, I can drink this all day long. Same for my cafe con leche, pouring it in. Now for the cafe con leche, depending how dark you would like your coffee, is how much coffee you would put into your cup. I don't put as much because I like mine light with extra milk. So I put maybe a small, small amount of the coffee. And here you are. I still have that foam, that beautiful foam on the top. And there's my cafe con leche. Now I did not add any sugar to the coffee with the milk because I did add the three tablespoons like I said before. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Bye.